Alberta is home to some of Canada's most impressive scenery and five UNESCO World Heritage Sites. This is where the prairies meet the mountains and spectacular snow-capped peaks dominate the skyline. The glaciers and turquoise lakes of Banff and Jasper National Parks are unforgettable sites, drawing millions of tourists each year to the province. These parks are also home to some of Alberta's top ski resorts, offering some of the best skiing in Canada. To the east, the plains and badlands hold important historical and cultural attractions. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the 10 top-rated tourist attractions in Alberta. And just wait till you see the number one that we're going to be showing in this video, something you might not ever even have thought of. So make sure you watch till the end. Oh, before we begin, you can help support our channel by becoming a member of this channel, please. Press the join button below. This will help us to bring you more awesome travel videos. So now let's cut to the chase. At 10, Drumheller and the Royal Tyrol Museum of Paleontology. Located approximately 140 kilometers northeast of Calgary is the small town of Drumheller, which proudly calls itself the town of the dinosaurs. Around 75 million years ago, various species of dinosaurs inhabited this region, and many fossils have been discovered in and around Drumheller. The Royal Tyrol Museum of Paleontology displays some of the finds and offers in an in-depth look at the history of the area. The landscape around Drumheller consists mainly of badlands. Interesting hiking trails lead past hoodoos and through unique rock formations. The Dinosaur Trail is a driving tour that leads through some of the area's main attractions. At 9. Calgary Stampede Calgary takes particular pride in its cowboy routes. This becomes most apparent during the city's biggest event, the annual Calgary Stampede. This is a 10-day event held in early July, drawing rodeo participants and fans from across North America. Calgary becomes a center of attention for all Wild West fans, with rodeo attractions, cultural exhibits, country music and a range of other outdoor spectacles. In addition to what goes on at the Stampede grounds, local establishments around Calgary also participate in the festivities by offering free Stampede breakfasts throughout the week. Stores decorate their windows, cowboy hats and boots become the primary fashion, and temporary petting zoos and midway rides pop up in parking lots. At 8, Sunshine Village Ski Resort. Sunshine Village, located just outside the town of Banff, is one of Alberta's most popular ski resorts, but it is also a beautiful area for hiking and walking in summer. In winter, the mountain, which offers a good mix of intermediate and advanced runs, attracts skiers from all over the world. It's one of the best ski resorts in Canada and one of the best ski resorts in Alberta. In summer, following the snowmelt, the area is open to hikers. Take the gondola from the base of the mountain to the village terminal to explore sunshine meadows. From here, trails of varying lengths lead into the mountains. Hike on your own or join a guided hike. At 7, Lake Louise Ski Resort. Lake Louise Ski Resort is one of the best ski resorts in Canada and is known around the world as a stop on the World Cup of Skiing. Home to 164 named runs, plus a few through the trees that only locals know about, the ski hill has something for everyone. Lake Louise Ski Resort is a popular family ski vacation destination for its well-regarded ski school, varied terrain and good facilities. The resort is only a couple of hours from Calgary International Airport, making it easy to get to from destinations near and far. Skiers take note. The resort has made significant investments in infrastructure over the past couple of years that include a new lift opening up the West Bowl area and a new quad chair at the base area to alleviate the morning crush. In the summer, the ski resort operates its gondola. In mere minutes, it will whisk you to the top of the mountain, where you'll enjoy spectacular views out to the surrounding mountains and across the valley to Lake Louise. If you are lucky, you may spot a grizzly bear on the way up. They enjoy grazing in the open, grassy areas where the ski runs are in the winter. At 6, Jasper National Park. Much like Banff, the name Jasper is associated with both the National Park and the town of Jasper, which lies at the heart of this stunning park. Jasper is the biggest national park in Canada, covering an area of 10,878 square kilometres. It is an area of lakes, waterfalls, mountains, glaciers and forests, but has a slightly different appearance than the parks and natural areas farther south. Both the park and the town of Jasper are less visited than Banff and have a more remote feel, particularly in winter when many facilities in the area are closed. 
Unlike Banff, the town of Jasper sees very few tourists outside of the peak summer season, giving it a much more seasonal character. Some of the key highlights in Jasper National Park are Maline Lake, which is frequently pictured in advertisements for the Canadian Rockies, Mount Edith Cavell with a stunning Angel Glacier, and Maline Canyon. Hiking trails and scenic lookouts can be found throughout the park. In winter, locals enjoy the Marmot Basin Ski Resort. And now at five, Waterton Lakes National Park. The Waterton Glacier International Peace Park in the Rocky Mountains straddles the border between Alberta and the US state of Montana. On the Canadian side of the border is Waterton Lakes National Park, while on the American side is Glacier National Park. Waterton Lakes is the smaller of the two parks but features some fantastic scenery with mountains and Waterton Lake. Overlooking the lake from a fabulous position on the North Shore is the Prince of Wales Hotel, a National Historic Site of Canada. Nearby is the town site with tourist amenities. Many people come to the park to hike on the alpine trails, camp or take a sightseeing tour. And now at four, Moraine Lake. Beyond Lake Louise, at the end of a scenic 13-kilometer long twisty mountain road, is Moraine Lake in the Valley of the Ten Peaks. Like Lake Louise, there is another scenic setting with similar turquoise water and snow-capped peaks. It was for many years the location of the image on the reverse side of the old Canadian $20 bill, and it's one of the most popular places to photograph in Canada. Moraine Lake is surrounded by ten peaks, each more than 3,000 meters high, containing the Wenkchemna Glacier. There is a great view across the lake from an overlook reached by hiking up a short path known as the Rockpile Trail, located near the parking lot. In the spring, the thunder of falling glaciers or landslides can be heard in the distance. From Moraine Lake, there is a day hike to Larch Valley and Sentinel Pass, one of the best hikes in Banff National Park. It is a somewhat exhausting day hike, but the reward is the stunning view back towards the lake and down into Paradise Valley. This hike is often snow-covered in the upper region even into July. The area is particularly beautiful in autumn when the larches are changing colour. The hike to the Sentinel Pass, elevation 2,611 metres, involves climbing a total of 6 kilometres and ascending 520 metres. Like Lake Louise, Moraine Lake is an extremely popular area and parking will likely be unavailable if you arrive in your own vehicle between spring and fall. The Parks Canada Shuttle from the park and ride outside Lake Louise is the best option for visiting the lake. At three, Icefields Parkway and the Columbia Icefield. The Icefields Parkway runs from Lake Louise to Jasper and it's one of the most beautiful drives in Canada. This 230 kilometer stretch of highway leads past lakes, mountains, glaciers and waterfalls with stopping points for visitors to get out and experience the landscape. Numerous hiking trails along the way, most of which are day hikes, lead to scenic lookouts over surrounding glaciers or lakes. One of the main attractions along the Icefields Parkway is the Icefields Center. This large visitor's center features excellent displays on the Columbia Icefields and looks out over the Athabasca Glacier. From the road, it is difficult to comprehend the layout and size of the Icefields, but models and photos at the center offer a unique perspective. Across from the center, it's possible to walk up to the toe of the glacier. Alternatively, tours in specially outfitted buses are available, which drive visitors out onto the glacier. One of the newest attractions is the Glacier Skywalk, a huge observation platform standing 280 metres above the valley below with a glass floor and glass railings. A shuttle service runs from the Icefield Centre to the Glacier Skywalk. You can also do a full-day Columbia Icefield tour from Banff, which includes the Glacier Skywalk, a trip out onto the glacier in an all-terrain vehicle and the scenic drive along the Icefields Parkway. To fully explore this area, you'll likely need a few days and most people stay in nearby Lake Louise. Alternatively, and substantially cheaper, is camping. Along the Icefields Parkway are a number of wonderful campgrounds, some with incredible views and excellent hikes nearby. At two, it's Lake Louise. Lake Louise, the jewel of Banff National Park, is famous for its beautiful turquoise-coloured water that reflects the surrounding mountains and Victoria Glacier. Located just a short drive north of the town of Banff, the lake is an easy day trip from Calgary. From the Grand Fairmont Chateau, Lake Louise is a fabulous view across the lake. A walkway runs along the shoreline, allowing visitors a lovely place for a leisurely stroll to absorb the atmosphere. 
Canoe rentals are also available for those who want to paddle out on the lake. From the lakeside path, there are excellent hiking trails leading either up the mountain or beyond the lake towards the glacier. One of the most popular hiking trails is the hike up to the Lake Agnes Tea House. In winter, the lake is frozen and trails are covered deep in snow. Many people come to Lake Louise during this time of year to enjoy the nearby Lake Louise Ski Resort, one of Canada's most popular ski destinations. Lake Louise Village, just a short distance from the lake, has some tourist-related retail shops, small restaurants and coffee shops. However, there is not much here beyond the main plaza. Nearby is a large campground in a lovely natural setting. During the busy summer months from May to October, parking is extremely limited. You can take a Rome Transit shuttle from the town of Banff to Lake Louise or book a Parks Canada shuttle from the park and ride outside of Lake Louise. These now must be booked in advance. Walk-up seat sales are not available. There are several ways to get from Banff to Lake Louise. And finally, at number one, yes, it's Banff National Park. Banff National Park is the most visited tourist attraction in Alberta and arguably the most impressive national park in Canada. Just 130 kilometers west of Calgary, the area encompasses spectacular mountain scenery, major ski resorts, beautiful lakes and the tourist town of Banff. Wildlife is abundant here, with grizzly bears, black bears, wolves, caribou and elk, many of which are frequently sighted along the main highway through the park. Hiking is one of the main summer activities in Banff and there are many front country and back country trails to choose from. Many people explore the park from the comfort of their car, stopping at the numerous roadside lookouts that offer impressive views over the mountains, lakes and glaciers. One of the top attractions in the town of Banff is a sulphur mountain gondola. Take a ride to the top and enjoy the spectacular views out in all directions, made even better by recent renovations and improvements to the building at the top. Banff National Park is a large area to explore and it definitely makes sense to either stay a few nights in a hotel or set up camp in one of the excellent campgrounds in the park. If you prefer something a bit more refined than a nylon tent and a patch of dirt in the trees, consider checking in at the world famous Fairmont Banff Springs Hotel. Dating from 1888, this iconic Banff Hotel has been hosting discerning customers for generations. And there you have the top 10 rated tourist attractions in Alberta. Did you like what you saw? Let us know in the comments down below. Share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more fantastic travel guides. See you next time.